Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of the Golf Clash Showdown here on the channel. Today's guest, very excited. Warm welcome to Mr Tango Sierra. How are you doing buddy? No, I'm doing great. How's everybody doing today? All good, I hope. Thank you very much for your time and for taking part in the Showdown series. Should be fun, looking forward to it. We're going to obviously, the general format, play a few friendly games. I'm going to ask you a few questions about yourself and the wonderful game of Golf Clash. And if you've obviously got any questions you want to throw my way, then you are obviously perfectly within your right to do so. I don't want it to be, you know, all one-sided, you know. So ask away anything you like. Um, so, firstly, in case anybody does not know the wonderful Tango Sierra, could you give uh, give us a bit of background info about yourself before we get going? Absolutely. I'm a 15-year Navy veteran. Um, I'm from uh, Baymanette, Alabama. I live in Spanish Fort, Alabama, by myself. Um, and I'm an industrial electrician out here and a logistics specialist uh, in the Navy. And... Um, I started playing Golf Clash right before I went to Afghanistan the second time in 2017. Um, it's it's just been uh, it's it's been a roller coaster ride, you know. Spent a lot of time with Tommy, um, you know, one on one sessions, just learning, and I uh, kind of evolved and blossomed into the player that I am today. So. And um, and how did you first come across the game? Was it like like a few people I've asked this question to? It's usually a Facebook ad or a friend. Is that the case with you? Actually, actually, uh, it was after Father's Day. I had got a uh, iPad, and uh, for Father's Day, and I was like, well, I don't have any games, you know, and I just kind of stumbled across Golf Clash, and uh, man, I didn't know that about, you know anybody like uh you know tommy or anybody like that i just kind of picked up the game and started playing it next thing you know i mean i'm i'm using the viper and t10 and <laughs> you know <laughs> so you kind of have to you kind of have to learn yeah exactly you know uh, so I, knew I was gonna have to i was gonna have to have a little guidance and you know tommy just kind of snatched me up and brought me along for the ride and so it was extremely nice. awesome and uh, it's it's great there's definitely a lot to learn and i mean i'm i'm still learning in this game you know we and it seems like especially recently people's abilities and skill and detail it just increases which is great you know correct all right let's play our first friendly we're going into the dizzy heights of tour number two and this one is going to be <laughs> a uh, standard friendly game we'll We'll do a bit of no move and a bit of dunks a bit later on, but we'll just we'll just ease it in uh, gently with a bit of a, a normal tour play. As with all my guests, it's basic ball or marlin only, but you can use whatever level of clubs you like. So I'm preparing to see, you know, an APOC 8 or something. Here. <laughs> You're seeing my jewellery now, huh? Here we go. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's me. I was like, oh, he's got an APOC 4, and then I realised it's actually me. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's happened a few times, you know. I've just stared at the screen, even when I'm streaming or not, and I'm like, why aren't they doing anything? And I'm thinking, oh, it's me. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. God, this needle speed. Oh! No, oh, great ride's going to help you. That wind's going to push Let's you. Let's hope so. That, you know, 1.1. 1 .1. Yes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of push. We're there. okay. We're okay. Yes, yes, safely in the fairway. That is beautiful. Nicely done with the APOC oh, 4. Thank you, you know. Oh, it is an APOC 8 as well. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, I do kind of open myself up to this with it, with these rules, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um... You know, it's not uncommon to see Ben uh, and myself in Master. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things to where um, you will see max clubs. Yeah, you know, it. you will see Apoc 7s and Cat 7s and B52 8s and Inbringer 8s yeah. and Falcons. Well, get, we're uh, even seeing them in Rookie now, you know. <laughs> right, right, right. Of course. Okay, can I get this anywhere near the uh, what we got here? Thorn six. Ooh, beautiful oh, beautiful wind. Man as well. Oh. Don't want to be. 
There we go. Let's go with this. This is just the, the right type of wind direction that I'll hit a bad great left or a great right on. Nice easy wind, you know, can't really get the adjustment wrong. Oh, yes, come on. Get in, Ben. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Come on, then. Come on. <laughs> right, let's, let's get an eagle here. Let's, let's get the shoot out. The pressure is on. <laughs> It is on, like, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Like, this is just bananas, isn't it? Well, we got all the Falcon. You know, I'm not, I'm nowhere near a Falcon 7, but I'm looking forward to it. I've just got the B52 7. I haven't played with it at all yet. I need to get used to adjusting 37 rings, you know. <laughs> See if we can't get in here. That's the angle. Oh, he's in, he's in. Nice shot, well done. <laughs> on to shoot out we go. Look at that. Two beautiful eagles there on Juniper Point. Very nice indeed. Oh, this one. Oh, joy. Well, I could actually no move that. Yeah. I'm gonna try to no move it. Perfect shot. Get in there. Get in there. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Well, okay. Valiant. At what have I got to beat? One point nine three. Under under two yards there, you know. Well, it's not that's a bad where, shot. That's where you need to be, isn't it? That's where you need to be. Right, let's see. I don't get this anywhere near the hole. Come on, Ben. Yeah, I need to. I'm going to do some adjusting on this. Let's go all at 1.1 and see where we end up. Oh, good grief. What on earth was that? It's a needle speed. Come on, great left for the win. Be good. I don't deserve that. If I've won that one, then I don't deserve it. It's going to be close, oh. isn't it? No. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> <laughs> one nil to you, sir. Very, very well done indeed. Right, before we go on to tour number three, you know, let's let's just pace ourselves a bit here, you know. Uh, it's the favourite round. So, favourite ball, favourite club, favourite course. What's it going to be? APOC 7 um, and the uh, Kingmaker. Okay, nice. My, my two, my two favourite colours. Yeah, and what about... Those are my two winningest, that's my winningest combination is uh, APOC 7 and, and uh, Kingmaker, you know, because the, the ultimate rule is uh, 1 to 1 minus 1 with APOC 7 and a Kingmaker. Is so. that at 0% then? That's, I think that's max plus 10. Oh, okay. Interesting. I did plus not know that. 10, uh, is, uh, is 1 to 1 minus 1 with APOC 7. Nice. And what about courses? You got any standout favourites that you absolutely love? All of Tour 11. Interesting. Every bit of Tour So that will be Tour like 11. Maple Bay yes. and... Mm -hmm. uh, what else is there? Uh, Sunshine Glades and Park to Paris. A lot of people yep. hate Park to Paris, though. You like it? I love it. I'm maxed. I'm maxed on most all of my accounts, even with APOC four, in in T eleven. It's a it's a real treat to uh, to see every once in a while, you know, because you can just kind of be a a little bit better than your opponent, you know. And that's the trick to this game is that like you know you might not be able to see their spins, but with experience you kind of know what spins they used in their adjustments and stuff. So yeah. Um, I wish I was that good in T12, but you know, I mean, you got Peter Johnson and people like that up there, Tommy, you know, other players that play T12 all the time. I, I haven't ventured into T12 at all. I mean, I've played two games. Thankfully, I won both of them. One, which was um, not due to my own merits, but the second one, I played a pretty good shot in the shootout. 
But some of those poor okay. fellow Cove ones, they, they scare me a little bit. You know, I'm learning 11 at the moment. I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, but it, it, it's or, the same with everything, isn't it? You've just got to know your stuff. That's right. Or have friends that don't mind taking time with you and teaching you the tour. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, landing positions, uh, elevations, spins, uh, what to and what not to do, when to aim right or left or wherever there's funnels or little glitches that kind of get you closer to the pin, whatever. Tour 12 is filled with little, uh, what I call life hacks. Mm. And so, um, but, but T11 is just, uh, it's like a, a, you know, muscle memory for me. You know, I can go in there with any club. I mean, I got three or four holes that I switched to a quarterback sniper combo with headwind. And it's just, it's so much easier in a shootout with a quarterback and a sniper and a kingmaker. Nice, <laughs> very nice indeed. All right, let's go to uh, tour number uh, three now then. Let's uh, send you a request over. Which is either going to be Sakura Hills or the uh, Namhe Cliffs, which was in tour 10 when I learned tour 10 back in the day. You remember I that? Do. Oasis. I do. I had, it still had Oasis yeah, with Oasis, it. Yeah, uh, Oasis, Namhe Cliffs and um, Kokasho Bay. Right, here we go. What we got here? What we got? Oh, ooh, we got send, send it, send it, send it wind there. Send it wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, yes. Look at that. So I do your half notes when I when I count. I do one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and it working. It does. Very good. It Very works. Good. But you, I don't know if you knew this, but I used to be on the. Uh, I was a, a bass drummer in high school, but I was I played the snare drum in uh, middle school. Oh, like a marching band. Yeah. Nice. I did not know that at all. So I can read basic music now yeah now when you get down to perfect shot every good boy does fine and different things like that you know of uh, all of the different um you know easier ways in face yeah the different ways to remember uh you know the notes yeah, music notation I, yeah I don't, I don't know that all i have is just quarter notes 16th notes you yeah. know um, you got stuff like flams to where it's almost like you you strike the drum twice. That's it, very quick. Strike. Yeah, drags, roughs, paradiddles, yep. buzz, buzz, buzz notes. notes. Yeah. Well, my my yeah. second instrument was uh, I was a percussionist as well as a keyboard player. So wow. the rudiments I remember those the Swiss Army triplets and all of that. Yeah, paradiddle diddles. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to do my 10% rule here. Yeah, you hmm. might be able to. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome, really. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just unfortunate for me. We, we, don't have, uh, we don't tend to have marching bands here in the UK as, you know, it, definitely not a proliferation of them as, as you do over there, you know, but brilliant. Right. Um, what a lovely sound, though, when they get going. Go stretch, Ben. There we go. Look there at that. Go. go on, go on. Nicely done. Yes. Right. See if we can get some uh, Max Inbringer action there. Rapier. Yeah, or... yeah, we might be able to get some in going. Some going. Oh, it's right left win for you. Ugh. Oh, that's going to be difficult for me. I'm on the fringe. Okay, so something that I do when I'm close to men distance is I'll do 10% of the wind, Ben. Okay. So what I call my 10% rule, and so I just call it a 10% method, out of the bunker, out of the sand, uh, out of the rough. Oh, not going to be good. Uh, and is that something you do for, like, short to mid-range things then? Uh, you know, from... I would, I would probably say... Um, closer to men to 25% club yeah. and I would recommend using 
uh, top spin if you're too if you're too far away. You know, use plenty of top spin, side spin into the wind. Like you don't want to go with the wind when you're trying to do the method mm. because if if you got a wind push, it's going to take off. Yeah. You know, if you got right to left wind and you use left spin, it's just gonna it's gonna push it away. Now I'm just having a bit of fun here and playing the max backspin shot. Please do. I I love these shots. Doesn't mean I'm any good at them, but I enjoy playing them. Get in, Ben. Come on. No. Oh! Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> too much. Too much to the side. Oh. You're trying to pull a, you're trying to pull a Tommy yeah. on me. <laughs> <laughs> Left it on the lip. <laughs> I think you should have dunked it there. I I should have gone with the dunk, but you know, you should have went dunk. Yeah, I think that would have dropped with a dunk. Yeah, I should have, should have left the uh, the exhibition golf clash. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. Oh. Okay, on to the shootout we go. Birdie. I mean, right here, neck and neck, people. Uh, it's not necessarily about winning or losing oh. with me and B, but um, neither one of us are safe when we're we're playing each other. <laughs> oh, and this is this is a shootout I don't want to see. I hate this shootout. <laughs> Look at that thing. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan myself. I, There's always one in every tour that you don't want to see, and for me, this nice. this was it. Well, then one on one. Perfect shot. Get in, Get Ben. In the Look hole. At I take that back. I love this shootout. <laughs> <laughs> Game Guardian is active. <laughs> I've always loved this. I've never had a problem with this. That is no app, no uh, grids, none of the nooks and crannies. I mean, just pure Ben Kennedy greatness right there. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my, what a treat. I almost want to ask you the adjustment, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to play this one-to-one, -one, people. I had a perfect... Let's give it a no, look. No, I, I did one-on-one, -on -one, so I think this could be in. We could be going to rematch shootout. But what a good oh. shootout. Well, well one, done. Close one. You know, well done. That was a beautiful line. I knew when it started uh, giving us that camera angle. Yeah, it was a it was a tempting uh, tempting angle that. So I'm glad that I'm glad that one came in. You know that's uh, that's the equalizer for me. So uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Now, going to talk about your YouTube channel next, and the for the viewers, you can find Tango's channel link in the video description down below. So tell me how you got into streaming and also where do you, you get your channel name from? This is something I do not know, so enlighten us. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the channel name came from uh, uh, me uh, not being able to really share my real name out, you know, on a public uh, forum like, you know, YouTube. And so I wanted to uh, kind of keep it top secret. And so I got to thinking, I was like, top secret, T.S. T.S. and, uh, you know, the military alphanumeric, you know, um, alphabet is Tango Sierra. Yeah, and that's where it came from. That's where it came from. There we go then. So what what got you into streaming itself? Did you kind of... I uh, actually was interested, um, you know, because I've known Tommy for about three years. Yeah. And I actually told him, I said, man, I think it's really cool what you do. And uh, I think it's really cool that I can go on YouTube and watch a, a live stream of somebody playing a game. I didn't know about Neo. I didn't know about RJ. I didn't know about you, Ian, mm. Pete, Fenzel, nobody. I, I didn't know about nobody. Only one I knew was Tommy. 
And I just told him, I said, man, I'd be interested in getting into it. Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever, ever imagined that I would have reached 1K. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome milestone, isn't it? It really is. So, you know, uh, thanking you personally and uh, the community and all the great moderators out there, man, it's just, it's so easy for us just to click the go live button, mm. you know, but the behind the scenes and all the hard work, man, having a YouTube channel is just a job. It mm. is. It really it's is. A, that's an it's awful lot to do. And, you know, it was my pleasure to get you that little final push to 1K and, and going back. It was you know, so cool that you were live when it happened. Uh, man. Uh, and oh, of course, okay. Ian, uh, Ian did the same for me, you know, and it's, it's an amazing feeling. I remember it was a Friday evening. I was sat with, uh, with, with a gin and tonic. Actually, it was very, very hot. It was in the summer. And uh, I was like, oh, God, I was like 90 away. I thought, he's, ne he's never going to get this, you know. <laughs> it, it's not going to yeah. get there. And, we, and they did, you know, and very grateful. So to, to kind of um pass on the favor you know to, to yourself and a couple of others it's it's really nice and it's such a buzz doing that on stream as well you know the the excitement and Absolutely. everybody coming together oh, to help is really really you know what i mean because tournaments and streams they come and go don't they but you know the the memories uh you, you know you you don't forget you don't forget when it happened for you and then also uh you know, I mean, it's major because you, you kind of remember when uh, we, we crossed that threshold. Yeah. And so it's uh, it's so awesome. And now my goal is to get everybody that's underneath me to that point. You yeah, know? absolutely. Got any memorable standout moments on stream? Anything that's, you know, in the Ooh. memory banks has been the best one? This last year? Wow. This last year I've had... Uh, in 2020, I had three hole-in-one par fours in master tournaments live on stream. Nice, very nice. Yes. So um, I may or may not have harmed some pillows in the process <laughs> of those <laughs> videos, and so I mean, I kind of I'm very animated, you know. Here recently, I just added a boom to my my channel because I'm trying to simmer it down a little bit <laughs> you know but um you know i'm trying to make it a bit more more user friendly you know nice so. awesome well like i said the link is in the description down below make sure guys that you get yourself over there and check out some of tango's uh, streams and content awesome stuff indeed we are going to play some no move target now i always give the guests the choice of tour so you just you know say whether you want to do two three four whatever you go with it and i'll uh, click the button okay we're going tour four okay it's coming up and it's up to you if we do uh if we do get a shootout uh whether you want to do uh well no sorry i'm getting ahead of myself we're not doing dunks we're doing no move so if it's a shootout it will be no move as well okay so it's all all the way no move awesome Let's see what we have. You should be getting a request. Is it popping up? There we go. There we go. Sometimes it takes absolutely ages. I don't know why. There we go. Milano hole, hole uh, number three. Right. Remind myself here. Do not move the target. I've not made the mistake yet, but I feel like it's kind of only a matter of time before that happens. Yeah. Ugh. I don't like I don't like this at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I needed some more curl on that. Go on, bounce. Go on. Stretch ball. There you go, yes. Ben. Beautifully done. Now, I wouldn't advise using my counting method when you're trying to hit an intentional good left on the white ring. <laughs> oh, I have to remember not to move it. Okay, let's see what we can do here, folks. Cool. Great nice. shot. I had to do the Neo. Yeah, right yeah you've got to channel a bit of Neo there. Look at that. Uh -oh. Beautiful. I think we're right oh. around. Oh, no. no. But I'd rather be on the rough on the right than the left, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, where is it going to put me? Oh, I thought it was going to put me in the way of the uh, with the tree in the way. 
But so, what uh, triggered you to uh, start streaming yourself, Ben? It was originally done um, because of the clan, the Guns Clan that I was in, and still I'm in a, a Guns Clan. We were doing push seasons, and to try and relieve the monotony of grinding, I thought, well, I'll just hop on, and maybe a few of few of the guys would like to join in and. Uh, and that's how it all started, really. Yeah. I thought, oh. like, oh. <laughs> I thought if I can get to fifty subs or like something like that, then that'd be great. And then you know, here we are. Um, Day later. Yeah, and of course, like I did a few streams January last year, then had to go to Zurich to work for five weeks with, and I had terrible Wi-Fi, so I I couldn't stream for five weeks. Then came back, did a couple more, and then of course lockdown happened. And then I, I was, I got the time at home to develop the channel, of course. And when I do go back out on tour, it's something I'll keep doing. I'm not just going to suddenly stop. You know, we've come, you know, put Crazy. too much effort in just to give it up again when I start got touring um, the country. You know. So juggling between your work as a uh, as a professional musician and also a professional golf clash player yeah. um, <laughs> how do you do it it's weird i mean at the moment i've obviously the work is is more or less non-existent um you know at the time of recording obviously hopefully in a few months time it's going to uh it's going to get back to normal you know i've had a couple of uh, sessions i've done at home but definitely not been traveling anywhere so it's going to be interesting when things start up again you know I may have to just vary the schedule up and do more pre-record stuff and maybe maybe one less live stream per week. We'll just see how it goes, you know. Correct. It's all going to be Wi-Fi dependent, you know. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> Fingers crossed for hotel good good hotel Wi-Fi. You know? uh, I'm actually traveling um, this, uh, this week. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to South Carolina. Oh. Which is like as if everybody over there... Are, in the UK knows how far that is away, but I'm at the very bottom of Alabama, yeah. very close to the Mobile Bay, very close to the Gulf Coast and the beach and uh, the Gulf of Mexico. So um, it's actually a, a, a skip and a hike yeah. to get up there. Now you've been practicing, Ben. No, I've not been practicing. That was a that was you, a blank. You've been you've been. That that was a fine shot. <laughs> that was a fine shot, I must say. Um, no, um, but yeah, it's like um, I would say probably like a three or four hour flight. Mm. So not bad. Yeah, you know? that's that's not too bad. That's you know fair fair stretch. Oh, this is not a good angle. Oh. Oh. Have I got that one? Mercy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'll, ta I'll take a win on that one for no move. It's a little uneducated rough <laughs> bump there. Nice one. Well okay, 2-1 two, two, to me at, uh, at the moment. Now, your experience of the game, going back um, through the history books, what has been the best change or development that have been made to the game in your opinion anything that stands out Ooh. well i kind of liked when they came out with clans you know and then this this uh you know the recent uh whole parts have been nice but really the change to the brackets and master has been a very welcome change yeah, yeah. uh to me in my opinion uh, the 70% people making it into the weekend round, uh, I feel like it's it's much needed. You know, uh, there are some people that are actually saying and 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 throwing out throwing the idea out there that uh, master's actually easier than um, than expert. I'm, I might have to agree with tier three expert, yeah, because I've seen 29 unders not making the weekend. Yeah, and, you know, it's really tough. Uh, I myself have six master accounts, so um, it's it's been a welcome change. Yeah. So awesome. that is something I'm happy for. They heard us. Yeah. You know, there, there was there was a, a loud voice from the community saying, "Hey, listen, please 
do something. Mm. And it, it may have taken some time to get the bugs out, but the, the change is the change is definitely welcome from me. And that's my favorite uh, change here lately because it gives some of the people that can't afford paid balls a chance to still make the weekend. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think and you, might, you may only have a handful of win five balls and you want to save them for, uh, you know, par threes, but you can use a, a Kingmaker or a Titan or even a Berserker on a par five or a par, par four. Do that. Yeah. You know. So as a, you know, somebody who has several accounts in Master, what makes a good tournament for you in terms of like uh, course design or like wind direction? You know, are you one of these people that likes all the send it stuff or do you prefer a more okay. skill, and, skill and precision? You like the send it. I love send it wins, but I don't like tournaments that are too easy. Okay. This last tournament was, uh, it was hard, but in the, in the same sense, it was a bit too easy as well. Mm. Uh, the reason why it was so hard is because we weren't dropping the par threes consistently. You know, you, you make the best uh, bang for your buck. You make your money on par threes and master. If you can drop par threes, you can drop par threes on any account you have. Yeah, so you like a little yeah. bit of send it, but not too much, you know, a nice balance. That's right. Oh, very good. That's right. I don't want to have to use a Megalodon ball or, you know, the uh, uh, Namahe ball every hole mm. on a par fours and par fives i, I just kind of feel like that's that's far-fetched because those balls aren't going to last forever i'm actually excited to be able to use the king slayers uh i got quite a few of them i had a ninth place finish this last uh major nice. and master i had a 32 under so very good indeed. decent round very very good indeed nice okay so we're going to do uh dunks next uh, this is where the fun starts. So again, dunks in regulation and in the shootout. It's, it's up to you. If you if you want to do standard shootout, I kind of give the guests their their choice there. So again, you're going to have to pick the tour though. So what, what tour is it going to be? Tour four. Tour four again. Okay, so let's see. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Give us something good. Milano. Okay, well, at least if I do end up on the green, I can put off the green, which is kind of might be needed for me. And obviously, you can move the target. We're not, we're, we're the, the no move thing is now abolished. So it's just as long as you dunk, you're fine. Top spin. Oh. Oh. Safely into the rough at 282 there yards. There you go. Right. Where am I going to be? Where am I going to be? Oh. Uh, well, I'm going to be in the rough, really, aren't I there? But is a, is a rough iron dunk better than going here with the thought I'm going to go up here let's see let's see then let's see if I can get into that corner of the fairway that's okay I'll go, I'll go with that Okay, let's see what we can do here. So, I'm kind of wanting to see if I can't save this. So, I'm going to aim at the back of the hole. And then just do my little method here. Oh, see, 
Super close, Dan. Look at that. Well, you're back on the green. Ooh. Yeah. That was so close, though. So close. I forgot we we were supposed to, we were supposed to be dunking. <laughs> right. Let's see. Uh, I'm so used to. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, I better watch. I better watch this from my. Let's go with a bit of backspin, but not too much. I hate it when you can't zoom in to get the thing at the back of the hole. Uh, they know we had that feature, don't they? It's really weird. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh, I'm going to guess this one. Right, come on. Just end up where I can. If I miss, at least I can hopefully... Come on, Ben, oh, give it a look. No. Come on. Oh, mercy <laughs> me. Mercy <laughs> me, Ben. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I've got to save it out of the rough. And so here we are uh, putting to the friend. <laughs> there we go. Nice, there we go. nicely Stay done. On the, Very nicely done. The pressure is on yeah, Ben now. Yeah, we're going to try and get this with the... Uh, with the Nirvana, okay. How much of the target can I get in the cup? There you go. Well, I'm going to go with that for good or bad. Let's see. Oh. Oh, come on, yes. be good. Damn, get in. Get in, Ben. Let's Snuck go. that one in. Ben is on fire. With a great, uh, a great ball there. He, oh. he, is, he is streaking, everybody. <laughs> he is streaking. Well, there we go. I three want to be. We're obviously still going to play the fifth game. It's not about oh. the score, anyway, as I always say in this series. It's all about uh, the fun. Now, one more question. We've got one piece of advice to give to the Golf Clash players, what is it going to be? Take yourself out of your comfort zone. Nice one. That's a new answer in the series. So elaborate on that. So if you're used to playing pro and you're a pro player, uh, push yourself to learn expert. Push yourself to move up to a different tour. If you're a Tour 10 player that lives in T10 and that's your comfort zone, straight like try to find somebody that'll take time with you to to teach t11 to you and to to break uh that plateau and to to just you know evolve into a better golf clash player now if money is an issue if you know time is an issue all those um all of those reasons are very understandable reasons not to be able to progress maybe you're where you want to be as a player and, and there's nothing wrong with that but i kind of feel like with the game changing as players we need to adapt and uh, evolve and get better and, and uh, come together uh, more than anything to um, become better players nice very because i know i've seen you play and the more i watch you play the better you get yeah, i think that's very good very very good advice really isn't it you, you know you've got to push yourself and uh, you know, actively try and improve um, as, as best you can. Like you say, you know, not everybody's able to spend a lot of time or money on the game, but there's still ways in your general gameplay, even if you're not stepping up to try some different shots or get used to some different approaches. So I think that is very, very good um, advice indeed. Now, on to game number five then. So it's going to be Tour 4. We are on standard rules to finish. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can I make it 4-1 or is it going to be 3-2? It's going to be it's going to be tough to uh, <laughs> to beat you. You 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 you've got a head full of steam right now, you know. <laughs> this game this game is a game of momentum. Isn't it just? Isn't it just? Something that I love because you can literally go one 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 
and still finish with a, a stinking 15 or a 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but when you so, get those rounds and it just clicks and, you know, you drop a couple, you, you kind of, like, like you say, you get the momentum going and it's great when that happens. Oh, that. Beauty. <laughs> Absolute wonderful one there. Look at that. Nearly 400 yards. Awesome. Awesome. Right, let's see if I can... Uh... I won't be able to do the same with my APOC four, but you know we'll we'll just um, we'll 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 just tap it down there. You know I'm not even going to make an adjustment. I'm just going to go. Oh no! Getting too complacent here. Come on, be good. Don't get. Oh no 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 no! Come on. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Nicely nicely done. A couple of scary moments so, there. Uh... As a streamer that creates content for just about every division. Yeah. Oh. I've been there. How do you continuously do this? Because you have to, you, you cannot possibly have notes and have guides for every single round you you're gonna have to remember at some point the nooks and the crannies of the holes man how are you able to remember everything well, i mean i i'm by no means the the best at it but i you see that the thing i enjoy i like playing early um and that doesn't mean that i'm against notes i follow notes you know i i couldn't i couldn't play master tournaments without notes you know I, I, right, right, i'm right. definitely not that uh, that player at all but i like um i like being the guinea pig i'm not precious about my gameplay or my accounts i think doing that and playing early for me uh i'm not after banners now you know i've i've won an expert gold whether i'll e ever get anything decent in master i don't know i'd like to think i will it's a gold mine um but now the main reason for me is uh, if I can just help one person with one video, then I'm happy with that. Uh, man, I, it's the comments that I get on the YouTube videos that are, Perfect you know, I watched your your content and I turned around and shot my first 34 in Master. Get oh in, Ben. Get in. Get in. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you were... <laughs> I thought that was in. Oh my God! It was him. And it just, oh. <laughs> oh my God, Ben! No, oh. that was the angle. <laughs> that was the angle and everything. But yeah, like you say, like in those I, comments, especially with the minis, I like doing free to play on the minis, and a lot of people step up for that. And then when I get a comment that says I've never done master before, but I played, you know, tweaked a few things corrected even if they say look i i saw what you did wrong on that hole and then i corrected it then great you know i i've learned just as much from bad bad conductors and bad musicians of, as i had from uh, from good ones you know you can you can learn a hell of a lot from mistakes you know you, but you can really uh you know take away something from any player yeah that's very true and even if they play rookie even if they play master at the highest level t12 or t7 yeah you can learn something from any and everybody i mean it's just such a such a wonderful community such a wonderful game and um i wouldn't want to stream on any other platform i agree uh, i agree i just it, I, don't, I don't feel like there's anything else out there for me I also like the fact that there's so many different ways you can play the game and you know and what an adjustment that can work for somebody is, is different for another person and like just getting the different comments and different suggestions from people in the chat you know they I learned such a lot from people in chat as well you know it works both ways right So let's see what I can do here, you guys. 
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a bounce over. Nice. So this account is actually uh, the one that I uh, I maxed out. Oh, okay. Sixty-two seventy. This last season. So yeah, um, I think the algorithm that they put me in when I was playing you was a bad one. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that's why I just went, you know, two, three, uh, you know, with you. <laughs> well, listen, I'm a good shot there, and like I said, you know, it, this is not about the scores. It's all about connecting with great people um, in the community and obviously um, people can tune in, find out bits about different people and go over, check out the content, you know, and, and uh, if I can help people that way as well and give, give uh, people a pleasant hour on the channel, then um, it's all good, you know. So thank you so much for your time. I will say my goodbyes now and then I'm gonna hand over to you to have the final few words. So. From me, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Tango, for being my guest. And I will see you all soon. Don't forget, subscribe to uh, Tango's channel. Link in the description down below. Over to you, Tango. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I base my channel off of is my wonderful attitude and my stunning good looks and also this little panda, Tingo. I could not go without saying anything uh, about Tingo. That's really what you see once you come over there. But... With that being said, uh, thank you so much to everybody that supports Ben. Uh, please come check me out. Um, I, I'd love to see you. But Ben, thank you again so much, man. And I got to say it. Um, Y'all get in the hole. Boom. Nice one. Cheers, guys. See you on the next stream. Bye. Come for soon. now. Bye-bye.